pace come from in this furnished wind unit hurdle now if large action has been trained to stay he uh, might very well use his early pace and they come down to the first and large action is one of four who hurdle in the lead together Bimsy racing fast of course Cockley's jaw a bit going down at the start took a keen hold so too just little that's settled in third place now with Collier Bay a former champion hurdler coming up to share second so they've got this very long step to the second flight of hurdles pretty well the favorites on the outside of the pack Tony McCoy on the left of the picture as we look at them the horse with the nose band and that's about uh, five or six lengths off the pace which is being set by Bimsy with a bit of a runaway We're clear by about three lengths to large action in second Collier Bay third shooting light four Pribwell five just little in six and then Moorish carrying his head high in seven and uh, Royal Keel the horse with fragile legs with a big heart the back marker of the lot as they cross flight number two in this bonus print Una hurdle and Bimsy whizzing around the bend puts the pace to the race with large action showing in second and Collier Bay third and shooting light four Pribwell the outside and with that one is the diminutive mare the little mare just little uh, but she's two or three clear of Moorish and Rail Keel at the back of the pack left-handed then and race downhill with Bimsy towing them along Graham Bradley won the big race the triple print going for double here on Bimsy in the Bueller print and uh, on the Bueller rather and he takes a dive at that one flight number three quickly towards four Bimsy has it Bimsy by a length or so to Collier Bay getting a bit closer, shooting light, the red jacket striding out well under Richard Dunwoody as they cross the next flight of hurdles. Bimsy joined by Collier Bay, large action the inner, hurdled well but uh, not as quickly as some of them, just a little covered up. Printwell the favourite is uh, striding up on the outer to make a line of four as they pass halfway in the bonus print Bueller. And it's Collier Bay, a former champion hurdle, uh, wasn't that fluent had it, in the grand side five in line pretty well the black cap at the top of the picture is uh, trying to get to the front but it's a uh, bimsey who fights his way back as they make this turn to shooting like collier bay and pretty well out right large action the irish mayor just little he's only three lengths off the pace then rail keel and the rank outside of moorish at the back of the pack at the top of the hill then and as they cross this flight of hurdles four in line there a grand sight bimsey ridden along collier bay with Mick Fitzgerald today riding well. Then we've got uh, Shooting Light the outside and Pribwell the favourite. Two lengths back to Large Action and then Just Little. Three lengths back to Rail Keel, who's been very quiet in the race so far. Moorish is the back marker. Top of the hill there, three wheel for a stride or two. Six course and distance winners in this race. Who's going to be the course and distance winner that takes the grade to Bernard Sprint Bueller Hurdle? Pribwell the outside of Shooting Light, a young pretender. Collier Bay has been here before. A, a Bimsy drops away, large action gets into it. Don't rule out the Irish mare, just little. Uh, uh, positively placed on the outside as they come down toward this flight of hurdles. Two out, Pribwell into the lead, the reformed character, shooting light uh, for the younger brigade. Collier Bay the inside. Then behind these, we've got Rail Keel, the grey, on the inside of uh, Just Little as they make the final turn. Large action being ridden along, and he's just looking a bit one pace, and he may need further, but Collier Bay takes the edge here. Collier Bay, a former champion hurdler, has it to Pribwell in second. Shooting light, the red jacket ridden along, but he's still cruising on Just Little. Pulled out wide now, and Rail Keel is uh, running a big race, and he's closing in. Oh, what a race we've got here. It's Collier Bay, Pribwell, and Rail Keel cruising the stand side this is the final flight that's coming to them now Bridwell, Collier Bay, Real Keel and Just Little shooting right and large action as they take the last it's Bridwell into the lead and Real Keel dies at it but he takes the lead and it's Real Keel Collier Bay the far side Bridwell left behind as they drive to the line what a brave horse it's Real Keel in he's going to take it Real Keel wins oh the heart's in the mouth as Real Keel ridden out takes it a very close call for second one for the judge Collier Bay and Bridwell clear of shooting light and then uh, behind that one just little in front of large action Moorish and Bimsey was last of all and so the outcome of a fantastic bonus print Bueller hurdle real keel a horse that uh, has well he's done nothing wrong he's won nine of his 11 races he was a one-time favorite for a champion hurdle before fragile legs found him out but the horse is all heart and Richard Johnson is an heir apparent to a jockey's title I believe his 51st winner of the season was thanks to Rail Keel who made one slight error that was at the last but uh, he's won this the, the bonus print Bueller hurdle and fingers crossed his 8 to 1 winner is sound in the morning second horse it's a very close call indeed 
the judges called a photo to the outcome between nearest to us in the nosebound Twidwell on the far side Collier Bay that's a very close call indeed but they're two and a half and a bit lengths behind our winner here the game the good Rel Keel